evening's moving in. Super effective. Short sure, sir. Halfway there. That's a jumbo puff with an appetite. Ain't no fuzz. Better put an end to it before it ends our world. The plague that's ruining the land needs to be stopped. Jumbo Puff is kicking it up a notch. It's time for an electric performance. Couple of more hits and it's a fried circuit.
bad feeling about this. It goes all the way down to the stomach. Start like a snack, and you'll end up with a ride down the intestinal canal. That's too close to the end station. Better move up, up and away, or be swept out the bowel way. Wow, what a super-sized worm whip. That must be as big as they come. You see, it's what the Taurus is pumping at half a beat. You know what? Who would have guessed it would go down with a throw-up? Can it really get any better than that? He thanks you for dealing with another world eater. You're halfway there. He's got word out of date spotted Lupa Lupin and has a feeling your time has come. He hopes you're up for it. Even though you're good-hearted, you shouldn't miss this opportunity to confront the Predator. Just head back to the foot of the tree. Fingers crossed, Lupa Lupin will stay put until you're there. Gizmo will always make time for you. The Netra tribe built everything they have from weathered rock. The tree remains intact, but you must all make a change to save it. Says goodbye to you. Gizmo will always make time for you. Says you. Be careful where you grab that mount.
Night falls like a giant around here. Probably make something glossy with plastic scrap. This story is about a hero. You need to get the Optica controls in order to start it. Just a few moves left, make them count. Excellent. That's illuminating. the knobs in sync to make the hardware work. Just a few moves left, make them count. It's not the fry sparker that's the problem, it's what's put into Get the knobs in sync to make the hardware work. It's a fry sparker mindset. Boom, you got something. It's not exactly what you wanted, but you got it right away.
Look at you move. Hard to believe this is all here. Slice and dice. That's a keeper. The oil claimed this land a long time ago. Wood scrap, the one kind of scrap you could actually still find growing. Back at him. That's a Terra Globus. You need to swivel the Globus's bearings to get the Atlas Mapper to work. Just a few moves left. Make them count.
metal scrap. Great for making tough things. The day is wasting. Time to get to it. A climb stringer, how unusual. There's a serenity about this. Stories only survive if someone is listening, so pay attention. And then down. Get the rhythm right. You snap that off, feeling pumped up. It's hard to come by.
need to unturn the pipe tightness to drain the flush door. Just a few moves left. Make them count. That's the kind of trouble you really want to wash away. This thing has a mind of its own. This is Dixie's goods. There's an outfitter and an upgrade bench dangling in that little blimp. Let's see. Shopkeeper claimed... You can't really understand your story till it's done. Let's see. It's a place well hidden. It's just below the above. Out of dates impressed you made it this far, but there's still so much left to do. The end of the world is still on everyone's minds. You've beaten a path where you have the power to destroy or save everyone. Question is, what you'll do with that responsibility? He can sense that your heart beats steadily and acknowledges that the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. Thinks it's important that you remember who you are and where you came from. Someone without knowledge of their history and origin is like a tree without roots. Ya yeah, you mawa, fofo umba bagwa. 
Papa Mo. What do you think his are? He's the one that's called out of date, remember? Kabo be farhi, yowotuloa. Out of date says there's a time for everything. And now there's no use thinking of the past, for it's gone. To huaye. Think of the present because that's where you are. It's time to set your priorities as the one who completes things. If you continue to do good, good will follow you. If the world really does end, there won't be anywhere to run. So he's prepared for the worst, something he calls the Ark. Two sides to everything, but for him it would be devastating if you were forced to use the Ark to escape while the world crumbled. Out of date says there's no clear record of the chain of events that changed the course of history and brought the world to its knees. He's found evidence on the Ark, records of a crisis decades of contamination that permeated the ground and broke its inner core. The contamination disrupted what we now know as key energy, the life force that runs through all things, living and inanimate. He's been told the blight affected everything at a genetic level and turned our perception of normality on its head. It was only those that changed that avoided extinction, proving that the possibility for survival and renewal was real. He understands you are curious about the ship at the foot of the tree, he says it surfaced when the oil broke through the ground. The Ark predates the back-in days, and now, after years of study of the manuals he found inside, he believes he's figured the ship out. The Ark has room for four more, and he trusts you'll apply wisdom to your compassion and choose whom to save if the world comes to end. He'll keep the seats open and you are free to invite up to four others to join you in the Ark in the event of a cataclysm. Out of date says the time has come for you to reconcile with your past. Momomboso? Lupa Lupin is still staying in the camp where he was brought up. He hopes you'll find the answers you are looking for there. Momomboso? Even though darkness is a part of your nature, he suggests you try to keep your cool, as the best fighter is never angry. Momomboso? Tolomawawanya. He'll point you in the right direction, but the rest is up to you. This part of the journey is one you'll have to do on your own. Lupalupin's camp has always been there, hidden deep inside the mountains. Out of date hopes you'll find your way and the answers you were looking for once you're there. He knows he said it before, but the time has come to put an end to the Lupin's reign of terror. You should get over there. Come face to face with destiny. It's going to be you against the Lupin. No rules. He wonders what's on your mind. Wouldn't be surprised if you met again.
Lupa Lupin's camp has always been there, hidden deep inside the mountains. Tread carefully here. This is Lupa Lupin's camp. Lupin says he's been looking for you to this moment. He wanted you to come here and see for yourself where it all started. He was so little when your mother and kin came here to put an end to his mother just because she was different, a hunter. That night, the hunter became the hunted, trapped with nowhere to run. He says your mother showed no mercy. Only vengeance. He can see that you're not like your mother. There's something different about you. Maybe you would have made a better decision than she did and let them be. They orphaned him, left him alone, an outcast and a freak. Lupa Lupin says he's been reliving the moment every night since then. He says your mother and her disciples started something that couldn't be undone. They created the monster he would become. No. He knew his time would come and he was patient. So, when he got news about your birth, he knew how to get revenge that would last. That's why he spared you that night he raised the village when you were a child. He wanted you to suffer for life, like he had. He marked you for life, so he'd recognize you when you met again, and you'd eventually remember where you came from. His hunger grew insatiable over the years to come. He tried, but being vegetarian wasn't in his nature and he couldn't go hungry. But he's never taken a life for the sake of appetite. It's always been about survival and that our true self is being who we are. A deep look into nature will make you understand everything better and that natural selection eliminates and the strongest survive. Fate is for those too weak to determine their own destiny. And now, the time has come for you to accept yours.
Heroes inspire in a way nothing else can. Come Reaper. Out of date says that from what he's heard, you've been busy. He says he appreciates what you've done so far, but unfortunately he's got urgent news from his friend Noko in the east. Out of date says that even though he's unsure about your intentions, he hopes you'll support Noko. He says he'll point you in the right direction, but finding Noko and making sure she gets what she needs is up to you. That doesn't sound good. Out of date was spot on. The hoof puff needs to be stopped. Out of date says that Noko is worried now that the Eastern World Eater is stepping up its activity. He explains that Noko keeps a fabled steed that she has planned to ride out to the World Eater, but needs help to get it prepared. Out of date suggests that you should head east as fast as possible and see what you can do to help. He's happy to help. Don't hug your mount, it's not your friend. Thank you. 
life is a difficult game, no matter how you play it. Check out that motor juice station. Wonder if there's any go juice left in the juice tank. Nothing. Nothing beats the darkness. There's a serenity about... Cries about how the Lotus Captain killed their. They want to eat. Wonders if you might be a real hero, kind. You should. Figures own. Cheers!
That's knuckle down. It's got an upgrade bench in that little blip. Let's see. Much more useful than the green. A done deal. Don't distract this beastie. It's working. It looks like some solid wood scrap there. Eh? For a beastie, this mount is so gentle.
where it cuts. Find us a sunset to ride into. Swifter than ever. Let's see. There's the Sovereign who runs this outpost. The Dysak. You do that to Bukita. He didn't expect his outpost to be invaded, but now that you're working with their rival, he can see why. The Dysak. He would have preferred if you could have solved this without violence. At least a peaceful solution has a chance, while a violent one never has. It's their last line of defense. Once their guardian falls, they'll surrender. Outpost belongs to your tribe now. He says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. Your Sifu thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger. Thinks you did a great job capturing the rival's third outpost and believes the rival is weak enough to engage them at their fort. Says they won't stand a chance again. Heroes make for the best stories. It's up to you if you want to be one. They have a pal who needs Not sure why they're having so much trouble, but it's a real problem. Hope they're okay. Says the pal's been trying. Yeah, 
You might have to do. Go la, pazawa. Sawa na ba pen pen ba. Mondo mono yo ala anoya yo do. Says that seems about right. Shopkeeper claims you Litoya. A good deal all around. Ask no. a deal to be proud of. Ito a luga said the Funchapau. Sig worth thinking about. That went well. But that soon looking for a bargain. You do that done and done. Let's hope the beast keeps listening to you.
Let's see. This is the tribe's last stand. Conquer this fort and that'll be the last of the resistance. The tribe... He says you'd better be. The plan is to fling you over the wall with a sling lob. It's better you go and find one. Better get a move on if you want to change things. You need to hit them where it hurts. Inflict as much. You're the hammer on their nail. a fire starter. The dry grass looks like it would ignite easily. You just need to create a spark to light a fire. It burns brighter than the light. There are really rocky ridges here. Have a good eye for that stuff.
The battering bonker looks like a great way to get through the gate. Bet you just need to knock and it'll open up. That's bonkers. The Netra tribe Let's values see. liberty and Ooh. is striving to protect freedom. They Most want to continue with each well, tribe being responsible for their dog. own and believe that uniting Rob. the tribes is the Rob. only way Rob. you can survive. He was hoping it wouldn't end this way. There's no reason to fight instead of uniting. It would be fighting over nothing. He'll fight for whatever shred of hope he has left to unite the tribes and save the Tree of Life. The rival Sifu is defeated, and the destiny of their tribe is in your hands. You are free to choose their fate, but not for... You'll decide the fate of the rival's... His kind are ready to die for him, but he considers himself lucky to have a friend who's ready to end someone for him. And with that, you're spinning your own. One by one they'll fall, until everything is brought into subjection. He's gotten news that your tribe's justified terror has paralyzed the remaining tribes. There's an opportunity to end the war early. He agrees the current reign of terror is an extreme measure. But it's justified, as it'll free everyone from starvation and restore peace. It's clear your way of waging war has been successful. And now that the tribes have experienced this war of yours, they're ready to do whatever it takes to make it end. So, do you want to end the war now, or continue fighting? He'd expected you'd want to continue to fight. It's in the spirit of the tribe. If you want true control over someone, make them feel afraid. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wung Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. It's the Netra Claw Chain.
the light you see at night is brighter than you think. <laughs>